Hi there folks, my name's Novaween24 and welcome today to another little review of an FSX uh, simulation add-on. Uh, so today we're going to be having a look at the Augusta Regional Airport add-on for FSX P3D and FSX Steam Edition. So this is manufactured by the great guys over at Sim720. Uh, so they've been kicking around making uh, uh, add-ons for quite a while now. now um, I'm doing this a little differently today. Uh, so as you can see, we're not in an aeroplane at the moment. Um, now, this is because I want to show off some of the uh, some of the detail that these guys have gone to before we go for a quick little uh, trip around the airfield and uh, sort of take off and fly around. I want to show some of the cool stuff that actually these guys have actually put into this. So uh, we're in a uh, we're in an airport bus is what we're in today. Uh, so you can have a quick look. There we are as I drive down this beautiful tree-lined driveway. There we are. This is a magnificent uh, This is freeware, of course. Uh, you can grab this uh, from Symbiation. Uh, just have a look. So just search for um, airport bus, uh, and you'll find it there, or Hama, H-A-M-A. So, yes, anyway, I'm doing this because, as I said, I want to, uh, as I take out a light pole there, never mind, because uh, I do want to show off some of the amazing detail that the guys at Sim 720 have done. Um, because for me, it's the little things that actually really, really like add to the experience you get from uh, some scenery and from terrain add-ons. So uh, we're just going to shoot through here. So I'm going to go up here, and we're going to have a quick look at some of this. Here. So we're just coming into the main sort of car park of uh, Augusta Regional here. Now, I just want to turn in here in a second. We'll, we'll base at least some of the road rules here, folks. Not all, but some. Now, this is the kind of detail they've gone to. So, not only are, you know, the, the you know, cars in the car park, you know, which is always, always a good thing, you know, but they're not just, like, the same little cars repeated multiple miles of time. It's like, they've actually got, you know, you've got full brand name cars here. You've got a Mercedes, we've got Chevys, we've got... BMWs, like, yeah, we've got Volvos, there's even an R34 Skyline there, like, the, the detail these guys have gone to for this is absolutely incredible, and you know what, oh, Corvette, nice, um, back there, the yellow, yes, uh, so, you know, th this is kind of cool, and, you know, it's this kind of level of detail that I really appreciate, and I think sometimes uh, gets missed uh, when we're flying around, and this is what really makes the scenery better. So, just like the guys at Orbix, you know, they, they do a lot of this detail stuff here. So, as you can see, this is our terminal here, and we've got our people, you know, we've got animated and static people that are sort of running around. Uh, there's a couple of people running around the car park. Now, just for a moment, just as we drive by here, have a look into the building. Now, that, like that depth of there, the fact that there's stuff inside the building, that is so freaking cool. Like, yeah, there's, there's people walking around inside the building. Like, oh my lord, that is like awesome. So much detail. It's better than just like, you know, because you, you normally just get the like the static 2D image kind of thing on plastered on the windows of buildings. And yet, these guys have gone to the detail of actually putting internal stuff. Like, most of the time we would never notice these kind of things because we're too busy flying around and stuff like that. But you know what? It's this kind of attention and level of detail that really, really brings scenery to life, I feel. So, yeah, I, I wanted to show some of that off before we start flying around. So, yeah. I, well, there we go. Yep, see, we got to see somebody. We'll just turn in here, try not to take out the roof as we go around. Yep, I can fit. But, you know, it's, you know, we've got this anime, you know, we've got the animated people here, you know, waving at us, and saying, hello, how you doing? You know, hoping to have Kayla lift from us, or, you know. And this is the kind of thing that's just really, really cool. Like, and again, just as we go past here, you can see the depth of detail, if this tree gets out of the way, the depth of detail that's on the inside, like, this custom animated objects inside the buildings, like, this is just absolutely cool. And this kind of level of detail is just, so spectacular and so well done, and I think sometimes you know underappreciated by uh, us virtual aviation enthusiasts. I think I think sometimes it's it's missed, but yeah, I just wanted to sort of show some of that off. So all right, that, we're gonna we're gonna quick do a run around the field. We're gonna have a look. Uh, so we've got to see uh, good old um, Pacifica uh, Air is there with its one seven three seven waiting to take off. So. The guys at Sim 20 uh, got access to the airfield um, airside and were able to take a lot of photos and a lot of detail. 
and really, really embody what sort of happens in this airfield. So there's a fairly quiet country airfield uh, for the sort of most of the year, but you know when the Masters tournament on, of course, the Great Augusta. Um, tournament that is on just you know just a few miles from here, uh, then it's airport traffic I, like more than triples. Like it's absolutely incredible how much extra traffic they get, and it really sort of just goes to show that a small airfield can really you know have such a huge impact around it as well. So, and they've got all these custom aircrafts you know, and objects that they've placed in here just so that we can actually make sure and get the feel of you know, how busy this airport can be. So it is serviced regularly by Delta and by US Airways Express. And we sort of shoot past uh, some of the, those custom objects we were talking about. And this just having them parked on the ramp like that is just really, really cool. Um, you've also got your general aviation sort of hangars over there as well. Uh, complete with over there, and again, even the internal buildings inside the hangars as well. Like they've gone to the detail of actually having you know internal structures of that as well. And as I said, like it's it's these little attentions to detail which just you know are absolutely impressive for me. They they really are, and they just absolutely make a scenery. Like it it really does make an incredible incredible scenery. So. You know, we've got our control tower here and all our staff parking for the control tower and our airport fire units there as well, complete with a, an animated uh, fiery having a wander around as well. Let's go and say hello to him. Oop, might want to stop before I slam into the fire thing. So yeah, like this kind of attention to detail and level that we see here is just absolutely outstanding. And I think it's something that I think sometimes gets forgotten in how cool... Uh, yeah, people who support us and our virtual hobbies uh, by providing these absolutely wonderful sceneries do for us, and I, I think it's really important that you know we we take time to actually appreciate what they do. So, yeah, as I said, the the frame this very very frame friendly. By the way, at least on the ground here, uh, we'll take it up for a spin in the air in a moment. But yeah, I just wanted to show some of this off as we uh, taxi over to GA parking, and uh, then we're going to take off uh, into these dawn skies over Augusta, and we're going to go for a quick flight. Uh, the other thing is you can tell the night lighting is absolutely beautiful as well. It's got several degrees of night lighting, uh, which are just absolutely incredible and just really give you that immersion as well, which is really cool. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, park our bus in the hangar over here, and then we're going to uh, grab ourselves... Us, one of our GA aircraft and we're going to take off and we're going to go for a quick flight around. Alright folks, we are back and we are taking out the Real Air Lank Air Legacy for a quick spin around the uh, the airport here at Augusta. Uh, so the uh, our carrier here for is Kilo Alpha Golf Sierra and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading out, we're going to do a uh, quick circuit in this beautiful dawn sky we've got here. Uh, this magnificent zippy little aeroplane, and then we're going to uh, touch down as well and land. So, as I say before, the the, uh, the history here of Augusta is uh, is is pretty lengthy actually. So it was first uh, established in 1941 uh, as an airfield that was going to be used for supporting uh, military flight training uh, for the U.S. Army Air Corps. And as the build-up to World War II sort of uh, went onwards, um, it became more and more busy as we went through that. Now, after, after the war, commercial airline flights began uh, in 1950 after the US federal government uh, handed the airfield over to the city of Augusta. Uh, so it was going to be operated as a commercial field. Uh, it kept its military name of Bush Field uh, and kept that for quite some time as well. Let's, oh, now, let's have a look. Uh, what are our winds looking at at the moment? Uh, okay, let's have a look. Three, five, three. That's pretty much due north. Alright, so let's uh, taxi on out. Go down this way, and we'll go on the straight out runway. Uh, yes, sorry, as I was saying. Um, so yeah, it was uh, transferred over uh, to the to the city of Augusta uh, for them to operate. It kept the name of Bush Field. Now, the, one of the uh, interesting story, and it's sort of some of the history is detailed in the uh, the user guide, the manual of this, is the fact that uh, one of the most profitable things for uh, this airfield and for the city of Augusta was simply uh, using it as a fuel stop. Uh, it was actually often 
uh, was sort of used as an important sort of stopping point for aircraft passing through the area, uh, where they could stop, land, rest, and they could also refuel. So a very, very important, very lucrative market for them. Um, to this day, it actually still is apparently, according to one of the uh, their major revenue raising revenue raising abilities, is just through the fuel. Right, Bikes having a bit of a wine there. All right, coming up to uh, taxi and takeoff point here. All right. And I line up and we'll take off. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunrise here over the city of Augusta today. Uh, one notch flaps, sounds good. Let us depart. Ten knots. Eh, we'll be able to do that. Alrighty. And let's go. Alright, so I took off with a 90 degree crosswind, but that's okay. We'll just uh, climb up a bit and we'll go for a quick orbit around the airfield. As I said, the uh, illumination is pretty damn amazing. Uh, it does look amazing and incredible. Uh, one of the great things uh, about what I find about this particular piece of scenery is that the installer is a very comprehensive installer. So not only is it designed for FSX and also for prepared 3D, but it is also, the installer also recognizes FSX Steam Edition as well. So for those who are looking for something that will work with Steam Edition, this is definitely a scenery for you to look at. Just gonna uh, have a quick look there. Uh, as well as the fact that it is designed for the different varied versions of Steam as well is the fact that you can also choose excuse me uh, you can also choose the level of detail there so similar to other providers as well the decent quality payware providers is they will allow you to actually you know, choose your own custom and make sure you've got the best things for your aircraft so you can choose the level of grass the amount of static objects that appear and things like that as well but as well, it also gives you choices on how you want it to, what you want it to adapt to. So it doesn't matter whether you've got uh, FEX Global, which I'm currently running, or running stock default, or even Mega Scenery Georgia. Uh, you can actually choose which one you'd like it to adapt to, and it will actually adapt the edge of the airport area to actually make sure that it can run, run there, run smoothly for it, and get everything working. Which is a pretty cool little thing, which I really, really, I really, really like and really, really appreciate. So as we just uh, go down, we're actually going to land with the, the correct runway, I think, this time. All right, so... Da, 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 da. So that is a, is a pretty cool thing, and I really, really appreciate that. I really, really do. All right. So do a tight spiral. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but that's all right. All right. Three down and locked. Slice the end of it. And there we are. And we 
are down. As I said, this the scenery is so so very well modeled and very detailed, and it, it is is pretty damn amazing. It really is. Uh, see, as I was saying, like it's very detailed. It gives you the option of looking at all your different grass levels and things like that, which is always pretty cool. Um, as you can see, the lighting effects are just massively like amazing as well. And overall, the quality of this is really impressive. The frame and frame-wise, it is absolutely beautiful. It really is. It really is absolutely beautiful on the frames. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to say this is the, one of the most amazing airports I've ever laid my hands on. So I want to thank Sim720 for the review copy of this one. Absolutely amazing work guys. I am so impressed by everything you've done with this one. Uh, as I said, the level of detail for this is absolutely incredible guys. Um, you definitely, if you if you like little regional airports, this is definitely going to be one that you want to put onto your wish list. You really do. Uh, speaking of which, uh, you can pick up this wonderful little airport, uh, Kilo Alpha Golf Sierra Augusta Regional Airport or Bushfield. You can pick this one up uh, from either direct from Sim720, so sim720.co.uk, uh, or you can pick it up from your uh, favourite flight sim retailer, including pcaviator.com.au. Alright folks, well look, uh, that's pretty much me wrapping up for the day. I'm definitely going to be highly recommending this to anyone who enjoys a bit of uh, a bit of flying around the US and just wants an amazing airport to uh, to operate out of. Uh, very, very highly recommending this. Um, hope you found this uh, little video a little different. As I said, a little, little informative as well. And yeah, I just want to say a huge shout out to the Sim 720 guys. Absolutely amazing. Alright folks, uh, don't forget, as always, you can stay in touch with me by liking and subscribing uh, the video and the channel, and also stay in touch with me by uh, looking, adding me on Facebook and on Twitter, just search NovaWing24. Alright folks, thanks very much for tuning in, until next time, take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.